Well, good morning, everybody. It is Friday, April 12th. I'm Maggie Fleckno, and this is Houston Happens. Let's all say it together. T-G-I-F. We have made it. And let me tell you, we are ready for a beautiful weekend. Coming up on today's show, it's the largest free public art event, and it's rolling through the streets of downtown Houston this weekend. We're talking about the Art Car Parade, and our own Seth Kovar has a preview along with some amazing cars. And we are hooping up with mad about hoops they're actually live in studio with more on fun summer camp opportunities and they may show me a move or two it's also friday so you know what that means Edo has our weekend weather i'm hoping it's going to be gorgeous because we have a lot of outdoor activities that and more is headed your way so what do you say let's get this show started and as always, we want to begin with today's top talkers, my friend. What are they? I didn't even look. Usually Good. I try to like get I a like when preview. you don't look. I okay. like when you don't look. Okay. <laughs> One of my biggest pet peeves. Mm -hmm. Rude people. <gasps> Me too. I mean, seriously. And I hate when I see someone being rude to a business owner or a worker or whatnot, because it's not necessarily their fault. No, exactly. Like, I don't... <laughs> Whenever I talk to somebody at customer service, I'm like, yeah. I am so sorry. I know I'm being heated right now. This isn't your company. You didn't set up these policies, and I'm sorry you're on the front line. But I'm still going to tell you. <laughs> Exactly. Well, this one, though, oh, my goodness, Ito. So a Colorado small business okay. owner, she's actually gone viral after filming herself being disrespected by a customer at her bakery. Check this out for over a half an hour and it's past nine o'clock at night i i cannot help you okay i'm just trying to explain to you i cannot fix this for you i can't help you it's just i can't do it in that amount of time okay so give you a backstory yeah, please. nine o'clock at night okay. this customer called her so that's casey tingley she owns a cake shop called love and flower well she actually has gone viral after posting this account encounter with a customer um, the thing is is we can't play the whole video because the woman was so horrible and she was making unreasonable demands wanting a cake for 120 people the next day what? And she wanted fresh roses on it. So Tingley, she calmly tells the caller that she is unable to deliver a custom cake within the 12 hour time frame, especially for 120 people. Then the conversation goes south. That potential customer starts name calling her, calling her every name under the sun. <gasps> then one week later though, there is a little bit of a positive. Tingley posted a follow up video of the woman calling to apologize for her behavior. But she said that she's had to start recording this to protect herself yes. against customers like this. Well, I, first of all, she answered at nine o'clock. So uh, yeah. that means she cares about her customers, right? right? But I mean, uh, 120 people. Are you kidding With me? Fresh roses. I was like, this is, when I was planning my wedding, you book cakes like way far out. Even for May's birthday party, her first birthday party, I planned it way, way in advance. Yeah. So absolutely ridiculous, and I, there's just no place for that. No, there isn't. Where is she, where is she going to go get fresh roses? Her neighbor's house? I know. She's like, something like this, I have to contact the florist. I have to do all of this. So, yeah, craziness. <sighs> Let's all work on being kind. But, okay, but what is that mindset that tells that this woman... Entitled. Feels enti yeah, she feels entitled. And I think a lot of people... They they think it's like the Karens of the world. It's like the help, you know? Uh, I don't I don't know. That's the vibe I got. You're working for me. I'm paying for this. No, no, I don't no, like no. that. Yeah, no, I really no, no. don't. I've actually told people in a checkout line, I've seen somebody be rude, and then I'm next. And I go, really? I am so sorry for the way you were just treated. Just say, say you're sorry. So in those situations in public, do you think that we have an obligation to step in? Or Ooh, that's like one of those. Do you ever watch What Would You Do? Yes. <sighs> John Quinones just comes around the corner and be like, ma'am, you did not do the right thing. You should have stepped okay, in. Okay, <laughs> I, uh, that's hard. I do yeah. a follow up. I would, I've never been where I'd have to break something up. Yeah. I've never been in that situation. I just am always like, I am so sorry for the way they treated you. I don't know. Would you, what would you do? 
I've done it before. You've stepped in? Yeah, I've stepped in before. I think it was like at some lunch counter or something. I was younger. I didn't have kids. I don't. I won't. I wouldn't do it with my kids now. Yeah. Uh, and I, I was. They were just like. They were just berating the person and how they got their order wrong. And I'm just like, hey, you know what? Maybe he throw in something extra if you were nicer about it. Oh, you know? did that? Yeah. And then I didn't like go in saying like, dude, you're being rude. I, I wasn't like trying to step up to the guy. I was just like, hey, what if you try it this way? And like, but again, it was before I had kids. And nowadays, yeah. I don't think I would step in because yeah. you don't know what you people don't know are going to do, do or how they're going to react. All right. So I have something else. Okay. Yes. Sorry. I'm excited. <laughs> Cuteness overload. This shouldn't offend anyone. I want you all to meet Miles. And I have to say, he has the best outlook on dating. Do you have any crushes right now, Miles? Only on three people. On three people? No, three and a half. <laughs> What's a half crush feel like? You don't want to marry them, but you do like them. A full crush feels like you want to marry them, and you like them. I mean, I yes, have three and a half. Love him. Producer Lou said this to me. I watched it first thing this morning, and I was so excited. If you guys don't follow Recess Therapy on TikTok, it's amazing. All she does is go up to kids on the playground at recess and ask them questions. Really? And have them. <laughs> I just love it because I absolutely love kids and their yeah. honesty. I can't wait until May can just, like... Tell oh, like it is. And, and you know she she's will. going to. She's going to. She's going to follow in mama's footsteps. I told producer Lou, I said, she already has a wicked side eye like my mom, like her nana. Like What's in her music side class. eye? So she just kind of looks like, what exactly are you doing? <laughs> like, mm. Yeah, May's very, she attracts a lot of people. I love watching it, but she's very standoffish at first mm -hmm. and she's shy she, until yeah, she, she gets comfortable. Be, she's yeah. like her daddy and her nana. Unlike me, who's like, hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> Maggie. I'm Maggie, and guess what? <laughs> we have more Houston Happens. Stay tuned. That's coming up after the break. Be nice to people today, okay? Yes, please. Okay. The truth revealed. You passed this test, you cleared your name, and then you don't have to put up with this. Weekdays at 2 on CW39 Houston. The new $1.99 Sonic Crispy Tender Wraps are here for a limited time in bold flavors like Hickory Barbecue or Cheesy Baja. Give yourself some TLC, tender, love, and chicken for only $1.99. Sonic Crispy Tender Wraps. Hi, I'm JR with SellToJR.com, and I buy houses as is in any condition. If I buy your house, SellToJR.com can help you find your next home or retirement community. If you want, I can handle the whole move, even the items you don't want to take with you. If you're considering selling your house but think there are way too many roadblocks, call me or go to sell2jr.com for your free, no obligation cash offer. When trucks are what you do, you do Truck Month better than anyone else. You do trucks that work harder and play harder. And you do trucks that win by breaking every rule of what a truck should be. So this truck month, what you should do is drive a Ram. Trucks are what we do. Right now during Ram Truck Month, Texas residents get 0% financing for 72 months on the 2024 Ram 1500 Lone Star Crew Cab. Don't miss this great offer. I'm Sharon Simmons Cantrell. I'd like to tell you what free means at Simmons & Fletcher. Free is no charge to speak with us about your case. Free is no upfront costs while we work on your case. Free means there are no fees unless we collect money for you. Don't wait if you've been injured in an accident. Call Simmons & Fletcher today. It's free. Simmons & Fletcher, Christian Trial Lawyers. Dr. Adriana Wells, board-certified periodontist at Dental Specialists and Implant Center, will revitalize your smile with a spa-like experience with cutting-edge technology and a compassionate approach. Our patients rave about services for dental implants, the natural, almost painless tooth replacement technique, and for gum disease management that will leave you with fresh breath so you can kiss, eat, and feel better. Call us today. You can trust our office to improve your smile from the inside out. I know, you can't take your eyes off the Sonic Garlic Butter Bacon Cheeseburger. Don't worry, it's not going anywhere. Here's why. Garlic butter, cheese, garlic butter, bacon, garlic butter. Need we say more? Sonic Garlic Butter Bacon Cheeseburger. 
News Nation's The Hill Sunday with Chris Starwalt. Your inside look at D.C. Sunday at 10 on CW39 Houston. Welcome back to Houston Happens. So it's an event that's unique to Houston, and it's going on this weekend, and the festivities have already begun. Our own resident social butterfly, Seth Kovar, joins us now live from the Orange Show Center for Visionary Arts. It's just south of the U of H campus. Seth, I had some of the art cars here. You're with some even more big and better art cars. Tell us about what is behind you. Well, I wish I could have seen the ones that came on your show earlier, but this one I would call the Armadillo Mobile. You can see the big creature on top here. It's a sign of the times. We don't use CDs for listening. We use them for scales here. Uh, there's this test mile sign. I'm not sure what that's about. Doorknobs stuck on here and a number of watches and other jewelry. It's just a wacky contraption, and that's what art cars are all about. But what exactly is an art car? Well, if it's a car that moves on its own and you decorate it with family-friendly decorations, you have yourself an art car that you could enter, you could register, Register to be in future art car parades. Not this year's, it's already too late for that, but future art car parades. And I have a couple of other examples to show you right now. If you were with us during No Wait Weather and Traffic, we showed you an old pickup truck that someone turned into a wolf. Kind of reminds me of the shagging wagon from the movie Dumb and Dumber. The van turned into a sheepdog. Then there's the ode to Jimi Hendrix, an old Mercedes that's decked out with all sorts of stuff, including electrical outlets of all things. Well, yesterday, about 100 art cars took part in the Main Street drag. They left the Orange Show Center and smaller groups bound for places like hospitals and nursing homes. While those folks might not be able to get out and make it to the parade tomorrow, they got a look at art cars in those mini parades yesterday. There will be 200... We encourage anyone with a... We call it the dream... Most ever. The, or the Orange Show Center, which runs the parade and all of the other festivities, says anyone can make an art car. We encourage anyone with a, we call it the dream, the drive to create. So all you really need is a set of wheels and, and a little bit of sweat uh, to be able to build your own art car. And so we want anyone and everyone to, uh, to participate. Now remember, it is too late to register for this year's parade, but if you want to make an art car and put it in next year's parade, just go to the Orange Show Center's website. It's really simple. It's orangeshow.org, and there you'll also find out all the details about Art Car Weekend. There were a couple of events yesterday, like those mini parades, and still to come is the legendary Art Show Ball, which runs from 6 until 11 tonight here at the Orange Show Center. The 37th Annual Art Car Parade itself starts at 2 tomorrow afternoon. It begins at the intersection of Dallas and Bagby Streets down Downtown, and we have a link to the Orange Show Center website on our website, CW39.com. But Maggie, I'd love to jump in the Armadillo Mobile and drive off, but somebody actually owns this thing, so I really want to get to know them and find out what it's like when they pull up to a red light, say, and someone looks over and what is next to me, but the Armadillo Mobile. It's going to be a great weekend here, Art Car Parade weekend. I love it because, have you ever been, Seth? No, and I've been wanting to go. I've been traveling here regularly for four years yeah. now, and I've been wanting to go, but never have. I'm definitely going tomorrow. You have to. And then they also have a VIP pit party, which is amazing. That's You can get tickets. Right. Um, we have a link over on our website as well. And you can watch it from there, and they have all these local restaurants. It's really, really an amazing thing. And over 200 entries. So it's a really, really fun parade. I can't wait. Yeah, you have to go and... Our girl Ito, she promises it's going to be good weather. It's not going to rain on our art car parade, is it? Ito, no pressure. Oh, no. It's not going to be raining okay. on, on your parade. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, already, no offense, the eclipse. <laughs> but the sun came out. <laughs> but uh, I have a lot of activities planned for outside. Maze custom blue bonnet dress with her name on it. Oh. I know, shocker. That child knows her name. She can read it at 18 oh. months because everything has her name on it. I love monogram. Anyways, Beautiful. I want to take uh, blue bonnet photos tomorrow. Yes, it's going to be a great day to do that. Okay. We're going to have lots of sunshine. You know, my, my family and I, we want to do um, like twilight, kind of like dusk photos because we've done the daytime Ooh. full on sunny. Sitch, but now we want to do like kind of when the sun's starting to go down a little bit. That's tricky with me because of bedtime. <laughs> oh, what time is her bedtime? So we're early. She likes to go. She falls asleep between 6.45. We start around 6.30 bedtime. Oh, I miss she those days. She sleeps 12 hours. She's a good sleeper. Oh, I miss those days. I, know. I, know. <laughs> I tell my kids you can't get out of the room for and 11 hours. And she still hours. likes two naps. <gasps> I know. 
I know. Oh, what? I my one of my kids dropped to one nap. I think like around five months. What? Yes. Oh, and I still dear. put her in there. Like I was like, no, nah, you're still quiet in there. time. You need quiet time, kiddo. Yes, ma'am. And May actually, we'll go wake her up, and she's like, no, no, I'm still having a party in my crib <laughs> with all my friends. <laughs> I love it. But yes, it is going to be a wonderful weekend. In fact, here's a look at your art car parade Saturday forecast. Mostly sunny for most of the day. Plus, temperature wise, it's not going to get too, too hot. I mean, it's going to get warm. I don't know about you guys, but 80 degrees when it's sunny. Yeah, I sort of beat up a little bit, or as my mother in law says, I glisten. But it's not going to be humid. This weekend, we are going to have low humidity. So, yes, get out there, enjoy all the things that are happening. We do have this area of high pressure over us, and look at all this beautiful weather all over Texas just all over the states around us. But we do have one rainmaker on the way. I'll let you know when. I'll be tracking it for you coming up here in just a few minutes. But right now, as you step outside, 65 degrees, winds northeast around seven miles per hour and humidity. It's not like perfect right now, Maggie. It's definitely not like Western states dry, but 65% can't beat that around here because uh, this summer is going to be closer to 90. <laughs> today our daytime high is going to be about 82 degrees so we're going to have lots of sunshine plus a light breeze winds coming in from the northwest gusts getting close to 20 but it's definitely going to be one of those days where you want to get out and enjoy it maybe even do a little bit of yard work i've got to put my seedlings in the ground maggie soon I know, I have that on my list. I told you I pruned my rose bush, so that was pretty <laughs> exciting. I know, that's when you know you're a mom in your 40s. <laughs> early 40s, I'm still early 40, right? Yeah, <laughs> we're early 40s. Yeah, I'm tiptoeing towards 41 next week. <laughs> oh, all right, in the meantime though, I'm so excited because, are you girls ready? We are hooping things up with Mad About Hoops, known for making fitness fun, in fact, the show Amy Neal is joining us with deets on their amazing summer camps and we have some amazing young ladies that can hula hoop I have seen your skills girls and we have two other Maggie's with me how exciting is that <laughs> all right so Amy I've known you for quite some time yes. now I first met you at the Children's Museum yes. and I'm so proud of you 10 years you've been doing ten this years yeah this year is 10 years for Mad About Hoops we started in Houston in 2014 and um, we've spread across the United States but we're still here and 10 years later we love it and what I love and maybe you girls can do some hooping yeah, can you do us that behind us um, what I love is that you guys make fitness fun. So tell us about the premise about Mad About Hoops. Yeah, so we started Mad About Hoops with the idea yeah. of giving kids a really fun outlet for fitness because obviously treadmills aren't really going to engage the kids. It's not super, super exciting. So something like this that everybody has access to, keeping a hula hoop at home. It's just, we can hula hoop while we watch TV. It's just such an accessible thing. And so it's so, so fun for the kids. They will leave class class full on sweating and have no idea that they just had an incredible workout. They're laughing, they're having fun. I it's love incredible. that. And it's a good workout for adults yes. too. Yes, yes, Here's yes. the great thing. Before we know it, you and I were talking in the ladies' room. It's going to be summer camp time. It is. But it you is. guys actually have a really cool thing you're offering. We do. So we've got summer camps all over the city. We're doing um, hula hoops and circus arts where we're juggling. Um, we're making balloon animals. And, of course, we're hula hooping. And we're also doing hula hoops and yoga. We do a hula hoop DIY camp where kids get to actually make their own hula hoops. What? And they take it home at the end of camp. So it's so fun. Fun. Now, what are the ages for the kids? So our ages are K through fifth, and we have some middle school programs, um, but those are usually the kiddos who were with us in elementary school, and they become our performance team. And so a lot of those kids get some really incredible performances. Um, we actually have for our K through fifth program, um, we're doing the Houston Dynamo halftime show next weekend. Whoa! Yeah. Congratulations! Thank you. This is really exciting. As you can see, these young ladies, they are really, really, <laughs> look how fast you're going. Girlfriend. Look at that. Oh my gosh, she's like the Energizer Bunny over here. <laughs> so you're going to actually do a little performance for it. Yeah, I would love to. Okay, I'm going to step out of the shot and then maybe you guys can show me a thing or two. Yeah, I'm going to grab this extra hoop. Okay. Um, how about you guys do some of your favorite tricks and then I'll do some of mine. Sound good? Okay. okay. Show. How long did it take you to learn all this? So I've been hooping now 
since 2013. So I've been hooping for 11 years now, and I actually started as a way to get fit after I had babies. Honey, and I know. then I left my corporate job and ran away essentially to make my own circus yes. um, with my business partner, Madison McBurney, who helps me um, run this incredible company and she helped us start it in Colorado. So um, we love it and wouldn't have it any other way. And girls, <laughs> do you love it? Yes. Yes? yes? I can definitely tell with the smile on their faces. Okay, so tell everybody where they can go to register for a camp. So www.madabouthoops.com. You can also find us on Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, TikTok, all of the places. We've got a lot of free resources. So even if you can't make it out to a camp, check it out. If you've got a hoop at home, we can teach you how to do some really, really incredible tricks. And you're going to try and teach me. How about we teach oh Maddie? Goodness. I mean, I've got all these mic packs on, so I don't know. So what do I, I do? What's in the, it? What's the so trick? For adults, we like to put one foot in front of the other and it's really a front to back push. So I want you to take your hand and push it all the way to your stomach and move front and back as fast as you can. Don't lie. I mean, <laughs> oh my gosh, what's the longest you've hula hooped for? Um, I, I don't know. I feel like I could do it and, and until I had to eat. <laughs> okay, tell me again what I have to do. Okay, so one foot in front of the other. Okay. We wind it up, we push, and we move our body back and forth, back and forth. Charlie, you're not getting the shot when it's up. He's gonna get when it's down. Oh. Charlie, I'm just teasing. How you. about a trick? How about a trick? Hold your hoop out to the side with a thumbs up. Okay. okay, and we're just gonna scoop and step. So I want you just to put your opposite foot in, bring it over your head and out. Yeah, easy enough. Ready? <laughs> yeah. Girls, I don't know. I think I need some work, right? <laughs> yeah, kids. They're very honest. Very honest. But I think that this is a great way to get in shape. Let me tell you, if I keep trying this. All right, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna hoop it up as we get into break. Here we go. Yeah, hula hooping is fun for all ages. Grab a hoop. If you've got hula hoop summer camps or after school programs in your area, they're all across Houston. But again, if you can't make it out to a class or camp, that's okay. Grab a hoop. Find some online tutorials at madabouthoops.com. We have tons of resources, and we can teach you to hoop right from the comfort of your own home. Well, I had fun hooping it up, y'all. Thank you so much for coming. Thank and you, Maggie. Stay tuned. We're going to have you more fun headed your way on Houston Happens. i got to work on my tech. CW39's lifestyle show, Houston Happens, highlights local businesses every day. Our team's ready to help you reach more customers and grow your revenue. We'd love to speak with you. Please scan the QR code or email hhsales at cw39.com today. TXU Energy is changing the energy game with Live Your Free, the first and only plan of its kind that automatically adapts each month to give you free energy when you use it most. Having a plan that's made just for me changed everything. Live Your Free adapts to your changing energy needs. So I always get my biggest savings guaranteed. Either every day. Every night. Or every weekend. Which I can easily see in a TXU Energy app. Those are savings you never have to choose. Choosing's not really my thing. TXU Energy. Energy for everything. This is the story of Betty. Driving back from Dallas, she was hit by a reckless driver. But that was just the beginning. Dealing with the insurance company, that was the real challenge. And one that she couldn't face alone. She made the right decision. She had attorney Steve Lee on her side. And with all the compensation Betty received, she lived happily ever after. Go with the leader. Talk to attorney Steve Lee. 713-CALL-LEE. Masters Mac, I got a power reclining sofa here, power reclining love seat that's good for workouts. This zero gravity position enables you to do sit ups if you want to. So if you need some exercise while you're watching TV, check out this Cougar power reclining sofa, love seat, and chair from Gallery Firms are great for workouts. You can get a workout in and relax at the same time. And best of all, buy this Cougar power reclining sofa, love seat, chair with this great fabric that's scratch proof. Gallery Firms delivers free tonight. Hello, I'm Andrew Womack, and I'd like to invite you to join me daily, every weekday, for the Gospel Truth broadcast right here on this station. The times are on your screen, but you know, this is just a program where I teach from God's Word things that have changed my life, and I know they would change yours. So check it out each weekday, the Gospel Truth broadcast right here on this station. Hi, I'm Mike.
Leica, and I still want to buy your house. When you call 713-565-5000, you're working with me, a Houstonian who's been buying houses for 25 years. I make it easy with an as-is cash offer on your home within 24 hours, whether it's a total fixer-upper or in perfect condition. When you sell the MICA, there are no fees, no commissions, no banks, and no repairs. Just call 713-565-5000 for a free, no-obligation offer, 24 hours a day. That's 713-565-5000. This program is brought to you by Simmons & Fletcher, Christian Trial Lawyers, Houston, Texas. Young Sheldon, tonight at 5 and 5.30 on CW39 Houston. All right, the time now is nearly 9.26, so you know what that means. We're about at that halfway mark, so let's check in with producer Lou in the control room. And of course, we have director Charlie. You guys, we made it. It's Friday. D-G-I-F, oh. Maggie. That's all I got to say. I'm so jealous that you got to, like, de-stress with the hoops. That Can was I so tell fun. you, though? I mean, after a while, you do start to feel kind yeah. of. It, I and danced. that was a good tip. I never thought of, like, going back and forth because, like, I, I feel like I always want to, like, I don't know, yeah, swing my hips yeah. <laughs> around. I like, want to be like thing. Shakira, Shakira, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah, it's actually a lot harder yeah. than it looks. I'm not built for that. <laughs> Those so. kids, they owned me with a hula hoop. <laughs> but that's all part of it. Hey. Speaking of kids, though, we have an amazing story coming up. Oh, I was telling her earlier, I'm so excited that she's here because the lives, the lives of four local senior high school students are about to change forever. They got $100 each for scholarships that are gonna support their higher education. That's huge for them. Yes, yeah, it's amazing. And we're gonna actually hear from some of the students, so that's pretty exciting. Yes, they're gonna tell us what it means, and I'm so proud of them, because they deserve it. They really do. Uh, and Maggie, don't yes. lose your taste buds. Red Chicks is finally making Ooh. a spicy debut here in Houston. We're gonna tell you when you can stop by, well, I guess we just showed you. <laughs> yeah. Well, Spoiler alert, there it is. <laughs> but here's the thing, they're setting up as we speak and let's just say it's red hot. These yeah. chicks, they're red. Yeah, spicy yeah. like you, Maggie. Oh, <laughs> well, thank you, I'm a spicy red chick. Oh, there what you can I are. say? <laughs> All right, also, we gotta talk a little golf. There's something going on right now, right? Hey, I don't know if producer Lou, are you still there? Well, I'll take it over for her. It was this windy start. Did you guys see at Augusta National? But we actually have a roundup of what went down at the course yesterday and what we can expect today. Right, Producer Lou? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I put a lot of effort. Thank you, Chad, for helping me out <laughs> to write this piece. It's a masterpiece. I can't wait for y'all to hear A masterpiece about the Masters. <laughs> All right, stay tuned for that. The second half hour of Houston Happens starts after the break. You have two jobs. And then my grand slam, uh, I signed the ball for you. Okay. And it says, Papa, I love you. Why did you do that? Because you've taught me everything about baseball. I'm so sweet. Choice Hotels is a family of brands with a hotel for any traveler you want to be. Like number one chef dad cooking up a free hot breakfast for the entire family at a comfort hotel. Mom made this. Um, I added the garnish. Stay twice and get a free night when you book direct. Whether someone is across the neighborhood, across the street, or across the room, you have the power to make them feel right at home. Ritz, a taste of welcome. Dr. Adriana Wells, board-certified periodontist at Dental Specialists and Implant Center, will revitalize your smile with a spa-like experience with cutting-edge technology and a compassionate approach. Our patients rave about services for dental implants, the natural, almost painless tooth replacement technique, and for gum disease management that will leave you with fresh breath so you can kiss, eat, and feel better. Call us today. You can trust our office to improve your smile from the inside out. At Simmons & Fletcher, our day often starts before much of Houston wakes up. The hours preparing a case are long, and the fight for justice is real. Our team is committed to righting wrongs by working to secure money for our clients. If you've been hurt in an accident, call Simmons & Fletcher. Find out if you have a case. The call is always free. There are no fees or costs unless we win money for you. Simmons & Fletcher, Christian Trial Lawyers.
There's a 90% chance that you're at risk for losing your teeth. <gasps> State-of-the-art technology at Jefferson Dental and Orthodontics allows us to see the number one most destructive oral health care problem, yellow plaque. This is food and bacteria that will ultimately cause bone loss in your jaw and can lead to your teeth falling out if left untreated. Your hygienist needs to remove your yellow immediately. To see if you have yellow, schedule your cleaning today with Jefferson Dental and Orthodontics. Universal Plumbing Supply Company, your home for residential, commercial, and light industrial plumbing supplies from top manufacturers. Since 1979, we've been supplying Houstonians with the quality plumbing materials and products. Call or come by and see us today. Hot Bench, today at 10 and 10.30 on CW39 Houston. going to be watching the Masters this weekend with your pimento cheese sandwiches. Well, the Masters began after a two and a half hour weather delay yesterday. It was rough. Although the heaviest of rains that were expected overnight had missed Augusta National. So high winds. Can you imagine playing in that? They were still in the forecast which made four conditions much different than the practice rounds. The delay also meant that later groups, which included big names like Tiger Woods, Jordan Spieth, and Dustin Johnson, were unlikely to finish before dark. They would need to return early today to complete their first rounds before beginning their second later in the day. Bryson DeChambeau, he actually finished first with an eight birdie, one bogey 65. He tells us about his great round yesterday despite those windy conditions. Well, it's always great getting off to a hot start. Three under, your first three holes kind of get you settled. Um, I knew it was going to be a tough day today with the wind and even tomorrow. So a lot of patience is required around this golf course and um, making sure you're just stroking it on your line, putting it good, hitting good iron shots and driving it well. I mean, in order. I think that's why I'm not good at golf. It requires a lot of patience. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Spanish golfer, John Rahm, who won the Masters tourney last year, says he also had some difficulties during the first round. It's, uh, it's a difficult golf course. That's all I can say. It's not easy. Uh, can't really, you're not really having the luxury out there of being able to miss shots, especially tee shots. And unfortunately, on that back nine, I... Uh, I missed a few too many shots, you know, never really in a good position to. Okay, honey, pick up the club today. You can continue. So 2022 Masters champion and world number one Scotty Scheffler is second on the scoreboard following DeChambeau after carding a six under 66. Scheffler arrived with a high level of confidence at Augusta National. It's always nice getting around here bogey free. I, uh, you know, I did a good job of staying patient today. We, we, we kept the golf course in front of us and I mean, I executed some really nice um, up and downs to keep the round going and yeah, I enjoy coming here and competing in this golf tournament and you know, the first day is, is over and I'm off to a good start and uh, just a lot of pressure, you know, because all eyes are in you. It gets super quiet and you don't want to miss the ball. You got to get it, of course, in the hole, especially when they're <laughs> putting. But with those wins, too, I mean, yeah, it was a lot. Okay, but can we, <laughs> we go back to, I have a list of fancy things fancy people say. Oh. And you just said, Let's put down our pimento cheese sandwiches to watch golf. It, that's going on my list, you know that. Like, a fancy things people say. <laughs> okay, did you come to May's first birthday party? I did. Do you know what we served? We had little tea sandwiches, and there were some pimento cheese ones. What? Yeah, so you're already fancy, girlfriend. I am fancy? You're fancy. <laughs> I mean, basically, slap some pimento cheese on a piece of bread, cut it into little things so you have little tea cake sandwiches and be fancy. I mean, okay. my thing is, is everybody's having these master's parties, which, yeah. you know, a girlfriend is up for a really great theme. <laughs> but this is one I'm just not. I love the fact that we have live golfers, but I'm waiting for our tournament coming in June. I cannot wait yeah. for that. Yeah, yeah. They really party. Yeah, you know, going it's not back like, to where you said, Ooh, have a pimento cheese sandwich and do not talk into your little golf club. Choose thoughtfully. But yeah, those live golf, they bring out the DJs. And I can't believe this, but the golfers are allowed to wear shorts. Yeah. Well, it can we also talk about it? These golfers? are looking a lot younger. Maybe we're getting older, but good-looking <laughs> golfers out there. I mean, older? ladies, no. 
Eye candy. I'm just saying. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, are you, you know what? Watch? I might sign up for golf lessons if a live golfer came by. I actually had golf lessons. I took golf lessons when I first moved here. I told you that. That's also going on my list of fancy things <laughs> fancy people say. I took golf lessons. I am so glad that I'm fancy. <laughs> I'm thankful fancy, my husband yeah. isn't a big golfer because it is a very costly, very expensive yes, sport it and a lot of time. I hear it is, but people Speaking of it, though, being outside, though, right? Producer Lou's like, weather! Get your life! I was going to, Lou, I was going to say people Just like being blanking. outside. I, I'm getting there. People like being <laughs> outside, and it's a great day to be Lou outside. Lou can't play golf. See, She's Lou? not patient. She's not patient. She's like Lou, me. She, I can transition. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's the That's look why the they pay picture. you the big bucks. You're too low. I'm talking. I can't hear you right now. Uh, we <laughs> have this low pressure system that went through uh, uh, the Augusta Golf Course. That's why they had all of that wind. But for us, we have this area of low high pressure. Uh, high pressure, excuse me. It's going to bring us some warm weather. Actually, also some very sunny skies. So it's going to be sunny today. It's going to be sunny tomorrow and even into Sunday. So it's a great weekend to get outside. Here's a look at your forecast at the beach. We're looking at most Mostly sunny conditions in Galveston, temperatures around the mid 70s, and then around town in Houston, especially for that art card parade. It's going to be so lovely. We're going to be about 83 degrees on Saturday, lots of sunshine. We do have a few more clouds coming in for Sunday, though. That is because we have another round of showers moving into the state of Texas. But where will they land? Here's a look at our future cast, and you'll see that by Sunday, 7 p.m., here comes another low pressure system bringing in some rain, but it looks like it's going to stick mainly to the the northern portions of the Lone Star State. As I put this into motion for Tuesday, look at that, Maggie. We could see some severe storms, but to the north of us. Meanwhile, for us on Tuesday, it's just going to be a slight chance of rain. I can deal with that, especially what happened this past Tuesday, right? Yeah, we, we've been through this. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Well, thank <laughs> you. I'm glad it's going to be a beautiful weekend. Well, now. We have a beautiful story. I'm so excited because the lives of four local senior high school students, they're about to change forever as they receive, are you ready for this? A hundred thousand dollars in scholarships to support their higher education. And joining us with more details on this amazing, fantastic opportunity is Lisa Higgins. She's the president and CEO of APQC. Thank you so much for waking up with us. And thank you for what you're doing for our youth. Thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about how this all came about. So our founder, uh, C. Jackson Grayson, which the scholarship is named after, believed that education was the pathway to freedom. Mm. And that if we could educate our children, they would have so many more opportunities. Well, we lost Jack in 2017, and he had spent the last 10 years of his career working to improve K through 12 education in the United States. So as a way to honor him, we decided to found the C. Jackson Grayson Scholarship. And this year was our third year, $1.2 million given out to 12 students. Our first class of students is entering their senior year in college in August, and they're all still enrolled, they're all still making their grades, and they're all still doing wonderful things. This just melts my heart because when you, th you don't have to worry about the money or getting a job and you can really focus on school. It, just think about what their future is. Uh, it, it is my favorite week of the year when we make the awards. Oh my goodness, now how do you choose? That would be really hard. Well, um, our portal opens on October 8th okay. and we accept the first 100 applications. One of the things that we're looking for is students that are really eager to go and learn. So we accept the first 100 applications into the portal and our scholarship is based on financial need, not grades. Really? So while it happens that all the awards that we have given have been great GPAs, however, our minimum threshold for a GPA is 2.5. We're not looking for the valedictorian and we're not looking for the salutatorian. We're looking for the kids that don't have those same opportunities but have the same desires. I think that's really neat. I, and thank you for that because everybody deserves a chance. And the students that were receiving these scholarships, of course, they're in school, but they have a message for all of us. So take a listen. What does it mean to you to have received $100,000? Uh, I feel relieved that my parents will have to pay for my college and that I will be 
will it easily make an impact to other kids in the future? It's everything. It's freedom from having to pay for college. It's, it's not having to worry in the back of your mind whether or not you can afford to go to class. Being the recipient of this $100,000 is literally a dream come true. And it's going to really help me with my dreams of becoming whatever I want to become. And I'm so thankful for this organization for helping me be able to win. To me, the scholarship means opportunity. It means freedom because it will help me completely dedicate myself to my studies and explore talents, internships, and other opportunities. Um, and have that freedom to not be working my way through college and to use that time to completely immerse myself in the college experience. It, it gave me relief. Like, I was, I was very stressed about a lot of things, paying for college, um, ha like, having to, to, make, to ask my parents, uh, like, you know, to support me. Like, that's a, that's, that's a hard part for me. I, I never ask them to, for rides. I always take the metro if I can. So it was, like, a hard topic. I already know they work so hard for me, and this just takes, like, a lot off their shoulder, and it, it takes so much off my shoulder, too. But, yeah, it means a lot. Oh, my goodness. I'm so thankful that we got to hear from those students and the future is so much brighter. Thanks to you all. Where can we go to support you all? Because I would like to support this scholarship. Oh, APQC.org is our website and we welcome anyone to come and support what we do at APQC. Um, it is incredible that through our work that we can make these scholarships possible every year. Well, thank you so much for what you're doing for our youth and just hearing from those students and what a relief and now they just get to focus on school. It is. It's exciting. It's really exciting. Just in that group, we had two going to Washington St. Louis, Washington University in St. Louis, one going to Texas A&M and Sasha, the next to the last student, going to Yale. I saw that shirt and I was like, going oh my goodness, Yale. girl. Power. Well, so thank fun. you again for joining us on this Friday, and congrats to all of the recipients of this scholarship. Stay tuned. We have plenty of Houston Happens after the break. Who are you? I don't even know you. Uh, you don't ask questions. I ask questions. Hot Bench, next on CW39 Houston. I'm attorney Sean Lalazari. And I'm attorney Servin Lalazari. If you get hit by a big truck, don't trust the insurance company. Call us. We're, We're the Law Brothers. Brothers. These big companies have big insurance policies, but they'll do everything they can to pay you as little as possible. My brother and I will fight them to get you the money that you deserve. Call us. We're, We're the, the Law Brothers. Brothers. Hurt by a big truck? Call 1-800-222-2222 or visit lawbrothers.com. Gallery Furniture introduces the world debut of the Tempur-Pedic Active Breeze Mattress. It's active because it will blow cool air on you all night long, up to 30 degrees cooler. If your partner, however, wants to sleep hot because it's cold to him or her, it heats that side of the mattress. Heat one side, cool the next, cool both sides, heat both sides. Have it your way. Tempur-Pedic Active Breeze Mattress, buy it today. Gallery Furniture delivers this revolutionary mattress to your home tonight. Tired of the same old tunes? Download A Better Stream, the free music app with 14 stations of every type that you can imagine. From classic rock to R&B, country to hip hop, A Better Stream has it all. Downloading is easy. Just visit abetterstream.com or your favorite app store. Search A Better Stream and start jamming today. A Better Stream, connecting the young and the young at heart. Download now and let the music bridge the gap. A Better Stream, free broadcasting without boundaries. Emergency? When news is breaking, not everything is as it appears. The sheriff's office is reopening an investigation. The Delphi murders changed my life. This narrative that's not at all what happened. This story was so long. Two or three days now. He returns without the love of his life and doesn't say a word. Well, I've only encountered five people who scare me to death. And he's probably number two. Is he coming from me? Is he coming from my brother? Where is he? The suspicion and the paranoia, it just took off like a tsunami. People became more and more obsessed with the case. I swear to God, these people. The mystery only grew deeper after it was all over. Mom said two of her classmates are missing. That was when the chase began. As we're running, I heard gunshots. This house should be burned! People are still trying to mentally process how all of this could have happened.
Listen up, honey. Do not lose your taste buds or mine. Red Chicks is finally making its spicy debut in the South right here in H-Town later this spring. And we have a very special guest joining us now. Introduce yourself. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for having me, Maggie. Uh, it's a pleasure. My name is Nima. I'm the co-founder of the Red Chicks, and I'm excited to be here. We're excited to give you some crunchy fried chicken today. <gasps> wow. Um, and the heat, honey. You are bringing the heat. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about your chicken and how it stands apart from everybody else, because Nashville hot chicken, you know, it's kind of a thing, but you guys are different. We let our chicken do all the talking. Our oh. chicken is going to be full of flavor. It's going to be crunchy, 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 and crunchy. <laughs> Um, and uh, we put a lot of love into it, and you'll definitely see it once you take a bite of it. All right. So tell me a little bit about what you're serving up, honey. Yeah, so we got a little bit of everything. Uh, we have what everybody else has, but then we do a French toast sandwich. We do tacos. We have Baja style, Nashville style. Uh, we do a honey butter sandwich, which is amazing. Ooh. You get the heat of the chicken and then the little sweetness of the honey dripping down on the side. So we like to have fun with everything. We still have all your classics, your sandwich, your tenders. Um, but if you want to get a little bit different than everybody else and go exotic, we got it too. All right, so you told me, do me a favor, you've got to try it. <sighs> I'm nervous. I told you, you I'm kind of basic. So you which one this. did you want me to dig my teeth? Take a bite of that. Um, okay. Sink my yeah. teeth in this. Oh, you're there such you a go. gentleman. Thank you. All right, so what is it? How hot are we talking? Oops. So this is going to be our mild. This is going to be all about flavor. But what you're going to get from this is the crunch. Okay, yeah. I never like to crunch. <laughs> my mama taught me well, but sorry guys, it's all about the crunch. Mmm, 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 mmm. -hmm. Crunchy, right? Mmm. -hmm. Oh. Oh, this is mild. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you feeling the heat? The, I'm feeling the heat. Yeah. I mean, I'm spicy personality-wise, but mmm. Mm-hmm. How do you get it so crunchy? So that's that's the all that's the part of us putting all mm. the love into it. Uh, we promise you, every Ooh, every piece of chicken you're gonna get is gonna oh, be crunchy. Now it's in the back of my throat. <laughs> oh, it's like a party that just doesn't stop. You like take a bite. You feel the cr oh my god, thank god. Oh whoa, honey. And that's mild. That's mild. What is, how hot do we get? I'm not uh, trying So that. we don't, we, we have a lot of chicken that's not, uh, it's just seasoned, there's no spice to it at all. Mm -hmm. And then we do have some that get really spicy, as much as you want. Uh, mm -hmm. In-house, we do carry the hot, hottest pepper in the world. Uh, if you, you do, do feel brave, um, not a lot of people do it, but if you do feel brave, it's on the menu. Do you? I don't. No? I How stay, hot do you go? I stay mild. I like my chicken full of flavor. I, it, let me tell you. And what I like about it, it's not too greasy. Like, it's it's very crunchy. I'm, I love a good crunch, and I love good sauce, too. Those are two things to my heart. So this is really good. And it's not overpowering heat where I can't taste. You know when something's too hot and you're like, oh, I can't even taste it. So I love that. I've also been looking at this corn. Tell Absolutely. me about this. Absolutely. So we got corn ribs. What we do is... Uh, corn ribs? Corn oh, ribs. my God. Guys, look at this. I said it looked like a rattlesnake almost, <laughs> but corn ribs. It's that's, Texas. That's brilliant. It's Texas, so we had to bring some sort of ribs, right? I love this. Now, you guys originated Cali, right? We started in Los Angeles. We've expanded. Uh, Texas is our second state that we're getting into, and we have several more states that we're expanding into. Uh, we are franchising. We are looking for people that want to help us grow and that want to grow with us. I love it. So, so where are you guys located? Where are you opening? Uh, we're opening in Cypress, the Fairfield Town Center. Okay. Uh, we'll be opening tomorrow <gasps> at 11 a.m. First 200 people are going to go ahead and get a free honey butter sandwich. Mm. Uh, I'll be there. Our staff will be here. We can't wait to meet you guys. Um, and we're going to have a good old time. And we promise you to serve you the crunchiest for hot chicken in Houston. You all, and I can tell you, it is crunchy. And I'm here for it. Because nobody wants soggy hot chicken. There you go. Right? She said it. I mean, hashtag that, my friend. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm so excited. Did you ever watch Melrose Place? That, no. like, way back in the day? No. You're probably too young. Yeah. I never watched it either. I was more of a 90210 girl, but the iconic Melrose Place series is actually headed back to the airwaves. And the official trailer for our Bridgerton Season 3 is here. Did you watch Bridgerton? My wife watches it all the time. I knew it. I knew it. Yes. So, um, she'll like this because Dana Devon has more in today's entertainment report. We start with one of the most watched series in the 90s, starring Heather Locklear, Daphne Zuniga, and Laura Layton. Remember this? Sorry, Mena. You're fired. Fired? You are a pathetic, sick excuse for a man. And if my mother wants you so badly, she can have you and all the crap that comes with you. You have five minutes to pack up and be gone, or I call security. 
Melrose Place, the hugely popular series that ran for seven seasons, is headed back to the airwaves. The main OG stars we just mentioned are all set to star in the reboot. The plot is still a mystery, but will reportedly involve the death of one of the original characters. There's currently no official date for the reboot, which is currently in development at CBS Studios. Now to the romantic Netflix period drama that seems to be the object of everyone's desires. Dearest gentle reader, we have been apart for far too long. At last, London's fashionable set has made its return. And it seems that our bon ton is moving with the changing tide. So, too, is this author. I cannot live at home any longer. I must take a husband. Does my lady have a suitor in mind? Is that our brother? Colin. Brother. Under what foreign sun did you apparently get so sturdy? <laughs> oh, it is good to see you. Is it? Something wrong? Seems as though every Bridgerton was born to attract notice. For some of us, notice is very slight. If a husband is what you seek, let me help you. Are we not friends? Friends. A riveting new trailer for Bridgerton season three has just dropped, and it's teasing the obstacles that Penelope Featherington will face in her crush and hopefully love affair with Colin Bridgerton. The upcoming season will drop in two parts, with the first half of the season premiering May 16th. The second will drop June 13th. That is your entertainment report here in Hollywood. I'm Dana Devon. Whether you have water leaks, sewer stoppages, or faucet and fixture questions, Universal Plumbing Supply Company has the parts, products, and answers that you need to solve your problems. Universal Plumbing Supply Company, serving Houstonians since 1979. Call or come by and see us today. Kelly needs new floors. I need new floors. So she went to the flooring experts at LL Flooring, and it was as easy as one, two, three, floor. Nice one, Kelly. <laughs> LL Flooring, every step covered. Whether someone is across the neighborhood, across the street, or across the room, you have the power to make them feel right at home. Ritz, a taste of welcome. Thinking of selling your house? I'm JR with SellTheJR.com and I'll buy your house as is. I'll give you a cash offer within 24 hours. SellTheJR.com makes selling your home easy. We buy houses in any condition. We can work through any situation. With SellTheJR.com, there are no strangers walking through your house, no closing costs, no commissions, and no repairs. Go to SellToJR.com for your free, no obligation cash offer. It's almost here. That moment you've been waiting all week for. That split second where anticipation turns to flat out exhilaration. The premier pre-race pit stop that keeps you up to the minute before. Start your engines. Only on Around the Track. Saturday at 10 on CW39 Houston. Makers are shaking things up with dual screens, foldable designs, and even replaceable parts. Rich Jamiro explains in today's TechSmart. 
like mobile phones, laptop makers are rethinking the standard form factor. The Asus ZenBook Duo 2024 is an ultra-portable laptop with two 14-inch 3K OLED touchscreens. You can use it in dual-screen mode with a Bluetooth or virtual keyboard, sharing mode, or prop it up in desktop mode thanks to a built-in kickstand. And yes, you can use it as a regular laptop too. Plus, Engadget says it's the first dual-screen laptop actually worth buying. It starts at $1,500. HP has a similar machine called the Spectre Foldable PC. It's pricier, but gives you a lot of the same features. Remove the keyboard to create one large 17-inch screen, or you can have two 12-inch screens. Smart software helps your Windows snap to just the right layout. There's even a built-in kickstand. This one starts at $5,000. How about a laptop computer you can repair or upgrade yourself? That's what Framework is doing with their 16-inch laptop. Ultimately, the problem is that we're just piling up e-waste around the world as we churn through these devices that are not designed to be repairable or upgradable. Framework's laptops let you customize just about every component you need. And since they're modular, you can easily swap them out for repair. Machines start at $850. Finally, all laptops in the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 series have a touchscreen, while the top-of-the-line model has a new Intel Core Ultra 9 processor inside, which adds an NPU, that's Neural Processing Unit. This handles AI tasks. This computer also has the new AI key built in. One tap and it brings up Microsoft's AI assistant called Copilot. The screen is big, bright, and incredibly sharp, but the entire package is super lightweight. The Galaxy Book 4 series starts at $1,100. All right, that's a wrap on today's show. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here on Monday morning, same place, same time for more Houston Happens. Bye for now, everybody.